Hello, everybody. Welcome to the world of dyslexia. <laughs> these people, these famous people, have all dyslexia. Within the US, around 15 to 20 percent has dyslexia. And I believe that these people, these famous people, have got so far because they have dyslexia. They got stronger. And the problem with dyslexia is well known, is reading. And reading is everywhere. Typical brain, they used three areas to read. And a dyslectic brain, that only used one of the three areas to read. And to explain to you, look at this picture. And you think of these blocks, the lower part is lighter. But it's not. It's an optical illusion. You're tricked by your brain. And people with dyslexia are also tricked by their brain while reading. And they're tricked because their brain is switching and rotating and mirroring the letters. To explain further, this rotation and mirroring and switching the letters are all 3D movements. So if we take a regular cup of coffee and switch and rotate and mirror it, it will always be a cup of coffee. But look what happens when we do this with a typeface or with a letter. The meaning will change. And then look to all the other letters. In this case, they're all based on circles. They all look alike, uh, especially when you rotate them mirror and switch them. And these letters are all based on arches. So you make a kind of twin letters for dyslectic people. And these has all the same angles. So it's really hard and problematic for people with dyslexia. So what I have done is get rid of all the regular rules to make a typeface and make my own rules to help people with dyslexia, like myself. <laughs> what I've done is, when you flip the letters upside down and around, I was thinking, OK, let's make the underside bolder. You don't flip them anymore, because the heavy part will go down. And if you mirror the letters or have difficulty to distinguish them, I was thinking, OK, just look at them and slant them so they don't fit each other anymore. And when letters are look alike like this, and you read II or JJ, um, let's slant the whole letter. And some letters just straight up, so you don't read that anymore. You just read I and J, only to make difference between the letters. And some letters are really close to each other. And I just make the openings bigger. So they're just better to recognize from each other. Because this is, of course, much bigger than when you are reading in a book. So everything, little bit, helps reading. Also, making the A sender and D sender longer. So the differences are emphasized. And the problem what I got a lot <laughs> is reading two sentences together because I miss the capitals and the punctuation. And while you're busy translating it for yourself, you just total lost it. So making the capitals bigger and the punctuation bigger, you create a kind of a stop shine in your text to take a breath and read the next line. And against the crowding effect, when Letters are melting together when you are reading. I just adjust the spacing to a better place. And between the words 
and between the letters. Extra space, so you distinguish each letter more. And then what I get a lot, and as a graphic designer, it's logical, but most of us are not graphic designers. What can you do with a typeface? It's like any other typeface on your computer. You can use it in Word, online, everywhere. If you can select a typeface, you can select dyslexy. And it's around, used around the world um, by schools, companies, uh, government departments, and especially my own favorite, home users. You get great stories back, and home users can download it for free from dyslexifont.com. And everywhere are now publishers with books, um, learning to write, uh, kids, apps, education, um, you name it. They find their own way and, and use it in their way and, and pops up everywhere. And they help each other again. Please, take your time and read this. My dream is that the typeface will be used where it's needed to help people on a daily basis. And that dyslexia is not only known by reading problem, but also by the gift of dyslexia. Thank you. <laughs>